So now in the last video we looked at this circuit and the nice thing about this circuit we have an emitter follower here using the NPN bipolar junction transistor. I'm using the 2N2222 but exact one doesn't matter but the pin layout may be different. But uh, we covered that in the last video. In any case, the Zener diode, when current's going through it, it builds up its Zener voltage. You select it by the Zener voltage you want and it shifts slightly depending on how much current is going through it but as long as current's going through there it's close to its Zener voltage and uh, I'm using a 5.1 volt Zener down. So we're getting about 5.1 to the base but when we have the output here it gets us that Zener voltage to the base and the transistor provides the current. The problem is we have the base to emitter drop right there so it actually goes down about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts in that range so it's not going to be an exact number but you lose uh, probably a little more than 0 0.6 volts anyways at the output there so we're gonna show a way to uh, compensate for that and so here's what we're gonna do in schematic form so this is an old diagram that I put together but all we're gonna do is put a rectifier diode in series with the Zener diode so we'll have one kilo ohm resistor setting the current through those two uh, diodes it will set the voltage there it's going to take that voltage not really need much current the uh, current will come from the supply but it will pass along that voltage let current flow through as needed to hold that voltage minus uh, about 0.6 volts approximately across the load we looked at that before i have a one kilo ohm resistor though that is going from the emitter to ground and i have a one kilo ohm resistor there our load is going to be the 220 ohm resistor and led from the last diagram and so now zooming back we can see the power supply there is set to 9 volts because this outputs a fraction of that power supply voltage. I have uh, 30 milliamps there even though we have an LED that we're only going to put 20 milliamps so that's the maximum that I'll output right now it's outputting 8 milliamps even though the LED is not lit. So it's not completely energy efficient. But in any case you can see the 9 volts there that is the uh, main point and if I press the switch it goes up to about uh, 20 so we would have even been okay at 20 but I want a little room there so that uh, none of the numbers would be uh, thrown off because we didn't have enough uh, current to from the power supply so in any case there you can see we are at the base of the transistor where the Zener diode and the resistor come together right there that is the voltage we're getting again it's a 5.1 volt Zener diode but we have a one kilo ohm resistor setting the current so it's probably slightly lower looks like it's pretty close to spot on five volts now we'll go to the resistor and the LED which is separated by a switch until we close the switch and there you can see that it is about 4.2 uh, 4.3 something like that so that's the voltage there when I press the uh, button and the voltage at the base right there you can see it's approximately 0.6 volts higher something something like that so now we're going to use that diode again we're just going to put it in series so you can see the black band up there the cathode and uh, not sure exactly how far the rectifier diode will uh, extend number of holes so we'll just kind of set off to the side there so there's the gray band that's the cathode this one we need to forward bias it so anode towards the more positive side which is the base of the transistor the middle pin since this is a 2N2222 and then so the gray stripe is down there camera might not pick it up too well so I'll mention that and now we'll put that in series with the Zener dot and let's zoom back so you can see we got a voltage there we're still at the base so we have uh, that voltage and it's about 0.6 above five as you can see there we can also move this right to where the Zener diode and the rectifier diode come together you can see it's about 0.6 volts lower right there five volts so in any case their voltages are adding up the voltage that builds up across them so now it's somewhere about 5.6 5.7 something like that now we'll go to the output right there when I close the switch and now you can see we got that five volts that we got with just the Zener diode to the base of the transistor. So if that lost voltage is a problem, 
if it comes to a zener setting the uh, voltage of an emitter follower also called comic collector transistor you can just put a rectifier down in series with it or anything else that builds up a voltage across it it doesn't matter as long as they're in series they will stack up as long as they're all on the same side of whatever the input is that you are looking at so in any case hopefully that all made sense I'll pop up some other videos for you to uh, check out and uh, make sure you click like subscribe the bell if you haven't I put the link to patreon down in the description uh, if you can donate do that that would help out a ton otherwise just watching these videos is the uh, best help altogether I'll see you in the next video